Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with Redis on Linux. Our viewer has installed Redis on Ubuntu 16.04, but is struggling to find the configuration file needed to ensure data persistence after a reboot. They ask, how can they configure Redis to keep their data safe and sound, even after a system restart? Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To begin, let's locate the Redis configuration file. On Ubuntu, the default location is usually in the slash cease Redis directory. You can check this by running the command sudo find slash etc slash redis dash name redis.conf. If you can't find the redis.conf file, you may need to create one. You can copy the default configuration file from the Redis source or create a new one. A common template can be found in the Redis GitHub repository. Now let's configure Redis for data persistence. Open the redis.conf file using a text editor like Nano or Vim. Look for the save directives, which control how often Redis saves data to disk. To ensure data is saved after a reboot, you can enable both RDB and AOF persistence. Uncomment the save lines and add the following line for AOF, append only yes. Finally, restart the Redis service to apply the changes. Use the command sudo systemctl restart redis.service. Your data should now persist even after a reboot. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To ensure Redis persists data after a reboot on Linux, you need to enable either RDB or AOF persistence options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To configure Redis for data persistence after a reboot, simply add a line to the config file. Setting appendingly yes allows Redis to append data as you store it ensuring your data is safe even after a restart. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, if you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.